Hey, hey, what is happening all you mechanical maniacs? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Uh, when we left off yesterday, we took the whole rear end out from underneath this Moonhawk and I needed some parts. Well, I have found those parts. I've got them over in a storeroom. Uh, also, uh, we did put some tires on the back of the Charger here and we did get her up to about a 158 on the drag chart. Um, and we put in a uh, new distributor, uh, rotor, cap, wires, and um, a coil to help that along too. But we haven't gotten, uh, wanted to get it up to the top part of uh, level, uh, the D level, D, D, uh, yeah, D level. Hey, hey, all you mechanical maniacs. How's it going? Hearst Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. In our last episode, this Moonhawk here, we took the rear end out from underneath it, and we were missing some parts, and I've been uh, scouring the junkyard and finally found a few parts that I think I can repair and get the rear end taken care of on the Moonhawk. Uh, for the Charger, we put a brand new set of tires on the back of it. Uh, rotor, cap, plugs, distributor, and a coil, and we got her up to, oh, I don't know, where are we at? Uh, 158. I was hoping to get up to like the 190s at some point, much like the hot rod, because the hot rod out here is looking at, we're at a 194 on the hot rod. Um, I was asked, I, I think, I think RPM Games, I think Ryan over at RPM Games asked me if I ever dyno tuned uh, my first uh, trash to track car, and I did uh, do it just not too not too long ago. Come in at a 147. So they even that's a 147. Um, a little bit less than that one, but that's okay. But yeah, we finally did a dyno tune on it just to see where it was, right? So that's where we were standing on it. Um, factory torque. Uh, right now we're looking at 207 at 245 as compared to their other numbers. So. Yeah, it's a little under, but that's okay. All right, um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with the Moonhawk right here, real quick. I'm gonna grab the, uh, I'm gonna grab all the pieces out of here. So all the pieces that I, I can either repair or replace here, uh, I'm taking them all out because all of it belongs to the rear end. And we'll just replay, repair these pieces. The rear end was my biggest fear that I wasn't going to be able to find. I did find it out of an, an older car. So um, didn't, as you can tell, I'm under 1 million right now. And that's probably because uh, I bought a couple of cars, stripped a few parts off it that I thought I was going to need, and then resold them. But it wasn't, I mean, it was just horrible. Horrible loss of... Uh, profit on my on my account uh, I didn't look to see how much the car the car was worth was I bought the car more than what it was worth one and then I took parts off of it so yeah I wasn't I wasn't really careful with what I should have done with that so that's my mistake that's for sure all right but I do have all the other pieces I need to go get um, let's see here I need to get I need to get a a little tank and some shocks. So let's go ahead and grab those real quick. Fuel tank. Um, shock absorber. Two of those. Pinion bearing and a differential bearing. I have to see what I need of that. So I think I do need some of that. Just not sure what I do need. Um, also need uh, small bushings. So let's go ahead and open the shopping list. Let's get four of those. All right. With the TK mod, you got the rear end that looks like this. So not only do you have to put um, uh, the, we the uh, axles in, you have to put the ring and pinion gear in there as well. So that is just awesome. As far as the uh, that mod is concerned, that's just that's just a really cool feature of that mod. 
that I really like. I mean, it, it really gives you more of a gives it more of a feel for that rear end as far as what needs to be back there. Ah, come on. Let me goof it up here. There we go. Tank. Go. Brakes. Alright. So what do I need in here? I need the bearing. So the bearing I have is 59%. We don't need that. Uh, I need to buy a brand new one. Pinion bearing. Let's go ahead and get, grab that. There go. Pinion gear shaft and a pinion bearing. So I'm going to need another pinion bearing. So let's get to that. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Uh, okay. And pinion. Uh, what about any rear differential pinion gear? Is that what I needed? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Cool. For some reason, for some reason, I thought it was a. Hold on. go differential flange there we go now you can come back here and put in the rear differential and the caps i love this i just freaking love it that's the way it should be done right there okay now that you have that in you can put the okay so i need a couple of wheel hub bearings Let's go ahead and grab the wheel hub bearings. Uh, now we should be able to get that. There we go. And those were like some of the pieces that I had to, to figure out how to get because I didn't, couldn't find the rear end throughout the junkyard. Uh, it took me a little bit. Finally did find them. Okay, so for the wheels and tires, what the what we got here? Now what we are doing is a 325-55. Uh, what do we got on the back of this? Uh dominators. So they are two. Fifty-five, fifty-five, fifteen. Right? I think that's what it was. Oof. If it wasn't, I'm wrong. Three fifty-five, fifty-five, fifteens. Got it. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. All right. All right. So what we're doing with the Moonhawk here is like our classic creation piece, right? We're taking it. We're going to um, build it back into its classic state. That's what we're doing. So that's what the premise of that is. Um, I have built cars for the track and the charger there and that, that Nissan sitting over there is proof of track cars and the hot rod out there. Those are my three track cars that I've built. All of them have been able to get under two minutes at the racetrack. That's pretty awesome. So let's get this on. Okay, do I have... Don't have a fuel pump, and I don't know if I have one in the shop over here. Let me go over here and look. Might be something might be missing here. Uh, engines and exhaust. I may have to go out looking for some because, oh, I do have one. I'll take a bad one. I'll repair it. Yeah, because these are often not one of those things that you can find easily in a junkyard. They're usually all gone. They're typically all gone. Uh, let's get that in. 
Okay, so what is this? This is, that's the rear bumper. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna take all that out, get the trunk out, fenders out, out, fenders out. Take it all apart, get all the fenders and stuff taken care of. I think that's it, right? All right, let's go repair the body pieces. Should be able to repair them all. They don't look like they're in bad shape. Yeah, I didn't think so. But yeah, this is what we do with the, the classic creations is take what we have, rebuild it, refurbish it, put it all back together. That is the plan. And a couple of doors, and boom, done. Okay, so now the glass can't be repaired, right? So I have to replace that. Oh, I forgot the hood. Um, let's get that out. Let's get that out. Is this part of the body, too? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think the roll bar is. Let's go fix the hood. I forgot to grab the hood. In my inventory, we're going to go that, 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 and that. Okay. Into here. Get ourselves that, that. Get some brand new glass. Oops. You know, I also forgot to wash this thing too. So we'll do that next. Let's just go ahead and put all the pieces back together. Be nice and pretty pretty. Remember, don't remember having a mirror. Oh no, look at that. I've got a body part that I can't put on here that I'm going to have to find. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that's a bummer. Okay, so that's a body part I have to find. I have to find a mirror. Don't have a mirror? That side's got a mirror. The other side did not. Do I have any more body pieces in here? Oh my god. I forgot all about that. Okay. So, so much for that. Alright. So, we've got that. That looks, man, that's pretty massive meats back there. That sticks out pretty far. Um, oof. Okay. So, that's what we got for that. Let's go ahead and take her uh, out back. Give her a bath. I think it's going to need it. So I'm not going to be able to paint it. Well, even though the paint looks pretty good. There we go. And we're going to detail the interior out. She's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. We're going to move her back into the second car left. And now. Let's see. What to do with the charger? Um, I need some performance out of it. So let me... I'm going to try a carburetor. So I'm just going to go straight up. I mean, this is this is not gonna this is not gonna help out any. So what I'm gonna need to do is let's see if I can repair those. I need a 
filter and carburetor F. All right. Um, we're going to go to the performance shop, I think. And um, let's see. Air filter F. We are going to go with a carburetor. Okay. I'm going to put a performance carburetor on this crappy engine just to see how this is going to go. Okay. Air filter base is going to be okay. Just crappy. It's going to be kind of uh, sleeper-ish, right? Okay, so with just a carburetor, let's take her over to the dyno and see how much we've increased it. Um, I have to tune the carb. So here we go. That's not going to work. Okay, so let's go. Oh, so close. Okay. Yep, that's not going to work. Dial into zero. Get these first two. There we go. All right. That gives me an extra 3%. So... All right, let's see what she does. Ooh, we got her up to 172. Heck yeah. All right, so we're we're squeezing it little by little. We're getting her there. We're getting her there. And she doesn't look like a whole lot underneath the hood. <laughs> um, I think the next step for her is going to be um, probably a performance exhaust system underneath of it. Uh, let's see here. I think that's going to be my next step right there. Um, we're going to go middle muffler. Just going to do these four pieces first. Let's just do those four pieces first. Um, I'm going to go. Remember the day I kept looking for parts and pieces like this? Okay, I need two of those. And I need the middle muffler. Where is the middle muffler? Middle muffler. Two. All right, so with a performance exhaust system underneath of it. All right. Nobody can tell. Except for the shiny pipes. All right, back to the dyno for you. All right, we were at what, 172, 174? Let's try her, let's give her one more shot and see if we can get to. to a 188 we're getting better getting better every every modification yeah there we go a 188 we're gonna send her back to first car left there we go all right so we're up to a 188 on here we're at the 194 on the hot rod again where's the hot rod at yeah it's at a 194 
But yeah, all my D class. Oh, you know what? I forgot my Mustang over here. My Mustang over here was probably one of the craziest track cars. I did get it under two minutes over there. Uh, but uh, we're running at 183. Um, so yeah, this is one of those cars that actually made the track pretty well. I didn't put all the body part pieces onto it. It just came out like this, so I kept it and just ran with it. All right. So, let's see what to do now. All right, so my Moonraker here. My Moonraker. My Moonhawk here. Got some, uh... Let's go ahead and take that. Oh, man, I'm missing some stuff off here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find a few pieces for this, and the engine's going to be one of those things I'm going to have to tear down. This was... I don't know what the... Uh, what was that? was the 488 horsepower out of this um but we're going to take this bad boy down the track just to see what she does after i get her built completely stock um i think that's going to be the plan let me get rid of some of this garbage out of my let me go ahead and i want to put some of this stuff away in the in the storeroom because you never know when you're going to need it right so, engines and exhaust. Uh, you need that drive shaft. So, that drive shaft needs to go back to the mo Moonhawk. Moonhawk. Uh, do we have anything other else? No, I do not think so. Suspension and br suspension and brakes. Uh, suspension and brakes. Okay, pinion gear, pinion gear. 15% uh, on the differential. That. Um, I don't know why I've got that. Okay. So the rest of this, I think, engines and exhaust. Let's put this stuff away in the exhaust area. I'm going to definitely need that. Um, shock absorbers. I might use that. Let's use both those. Okay. The rest of this stuff is out of here. I am just going to sell it all. Don't need it. Go. Yeah. All right. Uh, 982, 681 is my total right now. All right. So I think that's going to be about it. We have tuned the charger just a little bit more today. Um, we've gotten the moon hawk, the whole rear end assembly. The body parts are done. Uh, we cleaned it. So that's a bonus. I'll tell you what, let's do the do the interior real quick we'll just take this won't take much both these pieces will have to be replaced uh, unfortunately so uh, let's go back to here and shopping list interiors i like the bandit wheel the bandit wheel looks pretty cool Hey, the interior is 100% done. So if we looked at it, um, we've got the interiors done, bodies, yeah, 94%. I don't have the, uh, I don't have, uh, oh, I didn't do the framework. Oh, no wonder. We're over here, let's go ahead and fix this bad boy right now. 1450, yikes. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, next episode, we'll start ripping into this front end, get that all repaired, and take a look at the engine. We'll tweak a little bit more on the charger. I am thinking I'm going to probably spend the money and replace some body panels on this and just make it into a nice little hot rod out here. So I don't like the bumper. I think that's going to come off. I don't like uh, that. The rear bumper doesn't bother me. The front bumper just looks really out of place. I'll probably take that off and then uh, take care of the rest. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you back here soon. In the meantime, you guys take care. Keep your cars tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you later. This is Hersquazer saying goodnight and I am out.